River State Governor Yusum Wike has hailed the Federal High Court in Abuja for its judgment on Wednesday. The judgment by the federal government from deducting funds from the Federation account to fund the Nigerian Police Force and other agencies not listed in the Constitution. Governor Wike spoke to a journalist shortly after returning from Germany. There he undertook a tour of the River State government's legacy C-600 plane that has been parked in the European country for 10 years. He described the judgment by Justice Ahmed Mohammed as a victory for democracy. And we are now being joined live by former second vice president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Dr. Mundi Obani. Mr. Obani, good evening. Yes, uh, thank you uh, for having me. Good evening. Well, how do you respond to the judgment by the court? Uh, well, just like the governor of River State, I think uh, I will also respond in a positive angle uh, that this is clearly a, a good development uh, for Nigeria, especially when mm -hmm. we say we are on the uh, system of governance. Uh, you know, the constitution has made an elaborate provision as to uh, revenue sharing. Now, if any money enters into federation accounts, there must be a proper sharing of that money that belongs to other tiers of government. We have the state, we have the local government. The federal government uh, will not, under the constitution, have any right to unilaterally, unilaterally uh, make any expenses from that account uh, without recourse to other federating units. If it does that, that clearly is unconstitutional, which is actually what the court has said uh, uh, today with regards to that particular deduction that was made, uh, which was made for the police and then made for some other agencies without uh, taking into cognizance the right of the other federating units. If it was unconstitutional and not contained in the constitution, why the move by the federal government in the first place? And I ask why do people transgress, uh, transgress against the law? People, people sometimes may not know that what they are doing is wrong until they are being called to order. Or they know that what they are doing is wrong and they don't care. Right? They treat every other person with, uh, with levity and impunity, believing that they are uh, the almighty, they are very powerful, and they can get away with it, you know. But uh, we have always insisted that those who are courageous enough and bold enough should be able to challenge some of the actions of the government. That's why some of us in the public interest uh, uh, group have been doing that over time. There are many cases I have against the federal government, one on police, one on illegal roadblock, one on e compulsory vaccination, and then, of course, the one I just want to do against the FCC. Uh, when they detain me legally, I got a judgment for 12 million today. So we must be bold enough to challenge some of these actions or else. Uh, they will begin to treat us uh, with, uh, with impunity and living. Well, that court ruling says that since it's only River State that, you know, um, took the, 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 the matter to court, only that state is going to get the benefit of refund. Do you see other states being inspired to go to court as well? Whether, whether other states, whether other states, yeah, whether yes. other states is interested. I don't know whether other states joined. They did not join, Ordinary but case. they did not uh, join. So case, right? Do you see them yeah, being motivated yeah. now to do that? If they didn't join in the case, they cannot be beneficiaries. Uh, the court ordered that only, only River State government money should be refunded. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that Abia's money should be refunded on Lagos State. That's what I'm what saying. Do you done? see the state, the court may declare that since it's only River State um, that you know, instituted the case, only River State can benefit from that. I'm saying, do you see this ruling inspiring other states into going, you know, suing the federal government? Oh, yes. They may be interested because they, they, they have opened the way. What River State has done is to clear the way uh, and then has set the precedent. You know, so any other state that is actually interested who felt aggrieved by that action of the federal government in unilaterally withdrawing money that belongs to them and paying uh, to some of these agencies and other can, can also proceed and then fight, fight this particular case that has just been decided by the Supreme Court. It has become a precedent. What's your take on the establishment of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund in the first place? 
what is my comment on what? Yeah, what's your take on it? How do you view the establishment of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund in the first place? The establishment, uh, I, I don't see anything wrong in establishing a police trust fund if it passes through the normal legal process. Are you following me? I'm listening. But the legal process must make provision as to the funding. Is it going to be funded by the federal government, or is it going to be funded by the state, or is it going to be funded jointly? The law must be very clear as to that. And then, what is the mode of appropriation? How do you appropriate the money, the money for the trust fund? There's nothing wrong in doing the trust, or establishing trust fund for the sake of uh, increasing the take of welfare of uh, Nigerian police force and making sure that they have enough uh, equipment to, to work with. But the law must be specific as to the way of funding it. Is it going to be funded by the federal government alone or by both the state and federal? So if it does, there is a lacuna in the provision of the law that establishes that trust fund, that says it's going to be funded only by federal government, the federal government has no right to now tamper with the money of the state. Because what money goes into federation account must be properly shared before you begin to, before you begin to, you know, take it. Uh, it, it I don't think they did the right thing. That was, that was why uh, Rio Priva State Government went to court. If they have done it in a manner that was in accordance with the constitution and the law, I don't think that it would have won the case. But let me say this. What was decided is still at the lower court, federal high court. It can be challenged at the court of appeal, and then maybe go the entire of the Supreme Court. So uh, I don't think that this is the final we will hear about this case. The federal government will want to go on appeal. Indeed. Um Obviously, there's no love lost between the FG and the River State Governor Nguike. Um, healthy for Nigeria's democracy, you'd say? Well, the point is that uh, there's no other way for us to advance our democracy if not by uh, going to court for anyone that is aggrieved. I mean, we don't encourage people to use their guns or to carry their matches in order to settle scores. Uh, and so it is clearly a healthy development, you know. And uh, I'm presently studying, uh, doing a PhD program on the issue of uh, public interest cases to organize governance, organize governance, you know, going to court, you know, using judicial decisions, you know, to correct some of the anomalies in our system. The, the federal structure of Nigeria is completely flawed. And we are saying that we should restructure Nigeria. But if the federal government does not want to do it by way of passing laws, in order to restructure Nigeria, maybe through judicial pronouncement, we may begin to, you know, get Nigeria right, you know, in the proper form and structure that can really engender development. You know, that that is what I think is going in this direction. You know, so going to court may be another another route, you know, towards uh, reorganizing the structure of Nigeria that is completely flawed. Well, thank you, Barrister. Dr. Barrister Monday Obani, former second vice president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, I'm currently the chairman, uh, the chairman of section of public interest and development law. I call Spider. Well, thanks for letting us know. Congratulations. Thank you very much for having me. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.